Hello. If you know me, you know me. Goodman six Goodman underscore sixty nine. Although you can call me Soldier Reviews or Landon. I don't care. But today I am gonna start off another channel um where I review gas masks, helmets, and other military uh, equipment. Now noted I do not support Nazism, communism, I don't do not support any of that. This is mainly for educational and um fucking inter entertainal inter inter Entertaining purposes, yeah, we'll go with that. But what I am going to do is I am going to show you um some Russian, German, and American equipment. Um, what I have in a shelf right over in there, you can't see right now. I will show you that one day. One day we will make it through all of that. But today, let's um let's start with something simple. And I think to start off with a GP5. Move that out of the way real quick. Hold this up. Sip Pepsi. Alright, the GP5. One of the most common gas masks you will see. Um, if you can't see my face, that's fine. Uh, but, right here, we have my GP5. Now, most of these will be in really good condition, just like this one, as you see here. Um, it's, uh, it's meant to the GP5, alright. But, what you do, is there's the inside. You always want to wash these out before use. Um, uh, so you put it on just like that. Um, this is a size 3, I wear a size 2 on. I wear a size 2, this is a size 3. So it fits, but it doesn't have an airtight seal. Now that is what you always want with a gas mask. Especially if you're planning on using the gas mask that you buy. Now, it comes with a hose. I don't even know how fucking long, I don't know how long it is, honestly. Um, but what you would do is you would take the no this is the nozzle. In these take, uh, I don't want to give the wrong millimeter, but I'm pretty sure 40 millimeter is what these gas masks to, um, shit, I've always been able to think of it, but now I can't, um, well, you get the point, it's, then you pull this over your head, no, I'm not even trying to fill these, it's going to make a weird ass noise, and it doesn't have, um, air pipe seal. Now, be now in case you all didn't hear me, it makes a weird noise because of the hose being bent, and there's no filter attached to the end nozzle. Now, time to get to what a lot of people don't, what a lot of people talk about when they talk about the GP5. Set that right over there. Now, let's we'll talk about the bag later. Um, the the GP5 is a Cold War gas mask, which me which was which it was invented when the Russians and the USA were um kind of in a mutual discreet um like and I don't know. But I um do know that this is um an asbestos bomb. I like to call them that. If I if this video gets taken down because I said B the B O M B yeah. Um I'm gonna be pissed. But this is a um this is the filter it came with. This is a coffee grain filter, as a lot of people like to call them. I like to call I like to call me asbestos bomb because if you drop that thing, it's gonna if you drop it hard enough, it could burst open and potentially release asbestos. Now I still wouldn't use these even if I put a pad. Open that, you put a pad right there. Um, still wouldn't be usable. Um, it would be usable, but it's expired, way past its expiration date. So you want to get a new um filter, like a but a forty millimeter filter, and um yeah, that's what you would use for that. Now the GP5, now just this once, I'm not going to put this on, I'm going to um, quickly unseal this real quick, but just for you all, I will put this mask on real quick, with the filter on it. <coughs> mm. I held my breath when I did that, so I would not, um, breathe in any asbestos from this filter. Now, this filter, you want to make sure to always tighten these back up if you ever open them for some reason. Now, you can use these for display reasons, because that, they are, because then that gives the gas mask a little bit better of a look than a newer day, um, filter that you would potentially use. But, you never want to use one of those filters. 
um, asbestos has fiberglass in it, and fiberglass are little tiny fibers of glass that when you breathe those in, they sit in your lungs, and they shred up your lungs over time, eventually causing cancer. Now, I don't know how that happens, but um, nobody likes cancer. Cancer is bad. And I do this because nobody's going to watch. And nobody cares if I take a drink of Pepsi because I've seen a lot worse. Now, if you think you've seen this somewhere, um, you've played the game, if you've played the game Team Fortress 2, um, Pyro, that's where you know that from. Um, because the most gas masks are actually based on this gas mask right here, the GP5. Um, there's a lot more gas masks that, um, you can, um, look at, but no. The GP5, if you think of a Russian, R Russian soldiers, um, it was seen in Half-Life, that's where it's seen. Half-Life and Team Fortress 2, it's inspired, but as you can see, um, Team Fortress 2 has a different mask, um, style than this. But there is, um, one style, and that's the, um, and then there's a lot, this is a hood style mask, that's what I was thinking of, sorry, um, first video, I don't really care, nobody's gonna watch it. It's probably gonna be, um, a video that very few people see, I don't care. Honestly, if you've stayed this long, cool. In Half-Life 2, um, I'm pretty sure a DLC pack or some stuff, some something like that. I can't curse, cause um, Susan she'll clap me for that, and it's so dumb. Um, people who ruin YouTube, am I right? Probably just got the video taken down, but I don't care. I wish I could do this on TikTok, but TikTok doesn't allow me to have a 10 to 20 minute video. Yeah. This is this um as a GP five. I don't know what that was. I heard some sound. I don't know if you all heard it, but that. Um, but this is the um GP the Russian GP five. Um, it's kind of got a place for your ears. Y'all can see that. Uh, that little like ring right there. You know, right there. Alright, but that's, um, the GP5 is pretty cool, um, but tune in to us probably an hour or two later, once this video gets done uploading, um, when I review, uh, Swiss Army Mask, and I will show a usable filter in that, but just remember, before we end this, when you buy a GP5, wash the mask, wash the hose if you're ever gonna use it, it's kind of, they're kind of un, un they're kind of not necess necessary, and don't and don't take any chance using this. I know I put the mask on with this on, but that is just because I held my breath. And when you open this mask, hold on, I'm gonna put something on. Be I can put something on before I'm handling this mask. I don't use this face mask for just some um, coronavirus reasons. Let me open this. Make sure no air is getting through. This is a rubber stopper piece that I did not. A rubber stopper piece I didn't take off the mask. All right, but that's um, that's uh, that's the GP5 for you. Oh, I forgot to talk about the bag, didn't I? Uh, let's look at the bag before we end this video. Drop the mask. Honestly, it's a Russian GP5 bag. It's not, not all bags will look like this, but I mean, it's a bag. It's a bag, um, so you would sling it over your, over your shoulder, just like that. Then you would um, lace this. You put it around your waist. I don't feel like standing it up. Um, but then it would loop through this. Okay. Then you'd tie it. So it would loop back around just like this. And then you tie it off right around here. Um, but that has been the GP5 review. Tune in to us next in an hour or two when I release the reviewing of the Swiss Army Mask. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell, cause, so you don't miss an upload. Um, I don't know how to end this. 
So it's pretty fun. Um, I guess I'll, I'll just put this on now.